Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video, we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're gonna have a look also into the Ethereum price action and of course also into the DXY and also Nasdaq. And before we start with the content, my friends, a little reminder on the 24th of March, we're gonna start with this Femex trading event. And if you want to join it, then just follow the link down below here in the video description because like this you can participate to this trading event. It's going to start on the 24th of March. So we're going to trade on Femex uh, after this competition is starting. So if you're trading over on Bybit or other exchanges, then make sure that you're trading also over here on Femex during this event because we can win up to 45 Bitcoin. And if you want to trade in the same team like I am trading and also my community is trading, then join this Chinese guy because uh, I was also in the last trading event with this Chinese guy. I don't know him, but um, he was really killing it and we were uh, rank number two at the end. So if you want uh, at least a little chance to be one of the winning teams, then uh, I would suggest you to also follow uh, this Chinese guy. We are trading uh, with this one over here. Uh, so good luck if you're participating and of course also share the link with your friends because the more participants, uh, the bigger the prize pool will be. So definitely go and check it out with the link uh, down below here. And now let's start straight into the content, my friends, because yesterday we had a nice breakout to the upside from this falling wedge. We can go over into the one hour here in the lower time frames. You can see this wedge better, but we had here this breakout earlier than I thought. And uh, you can see that after we broke this resistance line here of 55,000, we had here this big push towards uh, very close towards the all time high of $58,000. Uh, so far, we got rejected here at 57,400. And as you can see here, also in the one hour time frame, we were building up this little rising wedge. It broke out. And right now, we are retesting this previous resistance line, which now should be acting as a new support. So let's put it here in the green. So what I think could happen here in the next coming hours is that of course we could see a possible big bounce to the upside and also take out this high and therefore also go towards new all time highs. But I'm not yet very convinced that uh, this uh, is the beginning of the big breakout that will take out the all time high of $58,000. It is possible, but I'm not very much convinced because the lower time frames are still pointing out that we could see some more uh, downside movements. Uh, but uh, it is also possible that with this confirmation, we already could see now a bounce and we could be shifted uh, now towards new all time highs. Uh, we have of course a lot of bullish signs so i really was hoping to catch here an entry towards 51 to 52 thousand dollar so with this sell signal over here i was hoping that we would retrace back to the bottom of the ema ribbon which is here at 52 thousand dollar but it looks like that already here the 20 moving average right here at our previous resistance and now new support at 54 thousand is already strong enough and we're most likely gonna see here a big bounce to the upside. So what I'm gonna do right now is of course um, I'm waiting here for a three hour buy signal. We don't have yet a buy signal but it looks like that we are recovering here and we should see here pretty soon a buy signal and therefore then we are safe to go long. So I'm most likely gonna open up a small long position here on a buy bit because the funding rates are still a bit uh, high. They are decreasing a bit. So I'm gonna see what will happen uh, here with the funding rates once we are getting here a three hour buy signal. So I'm still waiting. And also for everyone that is trading with my own indicator here on the Discord. Uh, of course, in the 15 minute, we had already uh, some uh, buy signals. And also, we, it looks like that we are back in an uptrend here in the 15 minutes. You can see that we are back above the EMA ribbons. Uh, so you can maybe take a risky trade right now, of course, before we're getting here buy signal. But usually, I always recommend to wait at least for a three hour 
buy signal uh, because in the lower time frames we can easily drop back down here so if you're taking here already longs then of course it's a bit risky but uh, if you cannot wait until here we get a three hour uh, signal you can take a risky trade but be careful usually it's always better to wait here for a three hour buy signal and if you also want to be part of our great crypto trading chat here on Discord, then make sure to use the official invitation link that you only find down below here in the video description. Once you clicked on it, then you can go here to read first, click here then the, this uh, thumbs up button like this you are confirming that you're a human and not a bot or a scammer so that's why very important that you have to click here on this thumbs up button and then you have free access to the uh, trading chat and if you also want to get access to this uh, live stream which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin then you have to send me a private message here so you have to give a little donation in order to get access to this uh, because uh, we have to keep alive this stream and that's why a little donation is needed and uh, now here in the three hour time frame it looks like that we are bouncing from the 50 level in the rsi so we didn't come below the rsi 50 level and that of course is a very bullish sign and that's why i'm expecting here uh, big continuations to the upside very soon latest when we are getting here this buy signal and here in the four hour, of course, you can see that we came very close to the 20 moving average. So as long as we're closing four hour candles above this important moving average, we should be shifted to the upside. And if this four hour candle now is closing above the nine moving average and also confirm it as a new support, then I think this pullback is already over and we have very good chances to see here follow through to the upside and maybe even create new all time highs today latest towards the end of this week and of course you can also see that right now we are trading here above the EMA ribbons in the four hour and of course also here in the three hour time frame so here I'm expecting continuation to the upside my friends and if we go over into the daily time frame you can see that here also we came uh, now down to this support here right at the top of the EMA ribbon we bounced for now I was hoping today to see a possible 9 or 20 daily moving average retest here at 52,000 maybe even down here towards 51,000 but the likelihood right now is uh, way less that we could reach those levels down here. I was hoping to buy more Bitcoin and also start to open up some bigger longs down here. But so far it looks like that we are already getting supported here. And you can see with this week here that this uh, pullback that we had today was bought back up very very quickly and that of course is very bullish and that's why it is possible that towards the end of the week we already could take out this all-time high that we had here of 58,000 and then of course head towards our next bullish targets uh, towards here this 75 so the daily time frame although is still looking very bullish my friends and we should expect a continuation to the upside and we can also have a look here into the weekly time frame because also here you can see that we are still trading above the EMA ribbons in the weekly so also here still very bullish we didn't come even close here to the bottom of the EMA ribbons in the weekly ever so the bottom is right here at $24,000 and it doesn't look like that we will ever go that low here in the next coming days and weeks so it looks still very bullish here the weekly time frame and I'm expecting big continuations to the upside just keep in mind that the nine weekly is here at $45,000. So this is usually a very strong support. So even if we would somehow see a bigger pullback latest here, we should see a bounce. And of course here the 20 weekly moving average is also slowly coming higher and higher. It's right here around $32,000. So Bitcoin, in my opinion, looks very bullish in all time frames and we are just waiting now for this possible big move towards uh, new all time highs. And I think uh, uh, it's not any more far away until we're going to see new all time highs. So that's why if you really want to enter into a long position, maybe already start now to open up some longs with low leverage, maybe because like that. You should be doing fine, even though we could still come back down here towards 52,000. But of course, right now it's less likely. And uh, yeah, I'm also still waiting here on Bybit to open up a long until I get the three hour buy signal. But what I'm doing right now is I am testing a bit uh, here um, Prime XPT because so far I was only using the co-vesting feature. Here you can easy copy trade uh, other successful traders. 
and uh, I was just a bit curious how uh, you can trade here on Prime XPT because trading here on Prime XPT is a bit different than on uh, other exchanges like Bybit and uh, Femix. In my opinion, it's a bit uh, weird to trade over here because you don't really know how much leverage you have, uh, what is your position size and so on. So here you can see that I try to open up a long position and uh, of course here you can trade a lot of assets and the weird thing here is that when you click here on trade, uh, somehow you can only uh, edit this one over here, 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 and so on. And I have really no idea what that means, but this is kind of your position size. And of course you can open up also a limit order, but uh, this is now a market order. And you can see once I, for example, click here on 0 0.01 and click here on buy, this will open up now a long position with this market entry and um, it looks like that my entry um, uh, is like five dollars or something like that. Now I have this one over here open with ten dollars with the double but uh, you can see this is my position uh, size here sixteen dollars but I already have almost hundred percent made in profits here with with the same amount so it's kind of hundred percent profits already without the price moving uh, too high so if someone knows or is expert here on Prime XPT, you can let me know in the comment section or in Discord uh, how exactly you're gonna trade here on Prime XPT. I just find it very, very interesting because here it's a bit different. Here you just have like very small amount of money, but you can make very huge gains in a very fast way. And it looks like that here you will not get liquidated based on where the price is uh, getting. So if now we are starting to drop, I will not get liquidated here because of my liquidation price of my trades, but because of my balance that I have here on Prime XPT. So that means that I always should have enough balance to cover my losses here in order to get not liquidated. So that means that in theory, it is very hard to get liquidated here if you have enough money in your balance. But please correct me if I'm wrong, but I just wanted to show you that on Prime XPT you can trade on a very different way than on Bybit and Femix. Maybe you want to try it out next to the co-vesting feature here currently. I'm doing some experiments here, but I found it quite uh, weird to trade over here. But it looks like that here you can really do some very fast gains with a small amount of money. I mean, I just put it here now $16 and I, I have already made $20 in the profits. It's really weird, but uh, yeah, give it a try if you want. You can also let me know if you're an expert here on Prime XPT, how exactly that is working. But I found it very, very interesting. And if you want to open up a free account over on Prime XPT, use my referral link down below here. You can get here an account without KYC, nothing. Just sign up, put some Bitcoin over there. No need for KYC, nothing. And of course, with my promo codes over here, you can get an extra percentage of the fees and of course, all the 50% extra bonus on your first deposit. So try it out if you're using my referral link down below here. And uh, yeah, let's see how this is going to play out. But I think we should be good to go long again here on Bitcoin. All time frames are looking again way more bullish. But of course, if you want to trade the safe way with my indicator, then wait here for the next clear buy signal in the three hour time frame bit because it is still possible that we're gonna consolidate here for a while until maybe we're gonna reach here this 52 54,000 and then gear up here to break the all time high of 58,000. So Bitcoin is still looking very bullish my friends and I'm expecting continuation to the upside here and the same goes also for Ethereum. Here also currently we're trading above the 200 moving average. We had also here a little pullback, but overall I think that also here, as soon as we're gonna take out here this 1880, the last Fibonacci retracement here based on the all-time high that we had of $2,050 and the bottom here of this correction here at $1,300, we should be also see big fireworks here to the upside. So all eyes are currently on Bitcoin because if Bitcoin is able to create new all-time highs, I'm pretty confident that the most of the altcoins, especially Ethereum, will also perform very, very well. 
And now, now let's go to a more bearish chart. Let's go here to the DXY because as you can see here in the four hour, the DXY is taking a plunge as expected up here in this rejection area. And my target is here to reach at least the 200 moving average here at around $91. So it is very likely that we will come back down here towards the 200 moving average. And there we're gonna have to see if we're gonna see another bounce to the upside, maybe a short lift bounce, or if we're just gonna continue to go lower towards our main support currently here of around $89.75. Sense. So the DXY is still looking bearish. We had now this uh, rejection up here and somewhere we for sure going to have a bounce. But I think overall here we're going to clearly go towards here the 20 daily moving average at $91. And there we're going to see if the DXY is able to have a big bounce to the upside or not. Because we are getting here a sell signal and by tomorrow it will be confirmed if we're not going to see a bounce right now. And that's why I'm pretty bearish here for the DXY, even though we could still see some little breeders to the upside. But overall here, I think we're going to get rejected latest at the 200 daily moving average right here at $93. So the DXY is still bearish. And that, of course, is a very big favor for the crypto market and overall also for the stock market. And speaking about stock market, let's go over to the NASDAQ because NASDAQ is having, at least here the mini futures are having a nice healthy bounce and the 20 daily moving average is right here at $13,140. So I think it will be very likely that during this week, we're gonna go here to test this moving average and then hopefully start to create again, daily closes above this 20 daily moving average. Otherwise we could maybe be stuck here between the 20 and nine daily moving average here at $12,770. Until then we're gonna see a big move to the upside or continuation to the downside. But overall the, the NASDAQ is also looking quite bullish here and that of course is also in favor for the crypto market if the stocks are going higher i think also the crypto market will benefit from it and here also we got a nice buy signal in the daily time frame the nine daily moving average is turning into green so we shouldn't drop now again below 12,770. so that's why we should also here see continuation to the upside all right, my friends. And with that said, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Everything is looking again more bullish over all the markets. So I think uh, we are good to go along again. Just wait for good entries, buy more Bitcoin because we are still far away from a cycle top. And I think this healthy uh, bullish reset with this correction that we have seen, you should take it as a good opportunity to go long or to buy more Bitcoin because we are still far, far away from a cycle top, even from a local top here, before we're gonna see a major correction. So that's why you are still not too late to accumulate more Bitcoin, even here at those uh, prices around $60,000. So if you like the content, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos. Check out also all my referral links down below here. With the most of them, you will get some extra money. And of course, also you support the channel. So thank you again very, very much for watching, my friends. And we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.